Welcome back. I know I said that I wasn't going to take any more like two week breaks, but um, I obviously didn't do that very well uh, because here we are two weeks later with another video. <laughs> I hope you guys understand that there's a lot of things going on right now, but there's a lot of things happening behind the scenes too. Ever since I uploaded that very first video, the video that started it all, the TanaCon video, I have received a lot of messages from you guys saying that it's inspired you to paint birdhouses too. So today, I thought that I would take some of those messages, some of those tweets, some of those tagged photos, and I would recreate your birdhouses. I just realized that the birdhouses I painted are in the frame. So pretend that you don't see them and pretend that you're surprised. So if you've sent me a birdhouse, I want to thank you because without that, I wouldn't have this video. So thanks. So how about we just jump right into the birdhouses. Sup? <laughs> so I was sent this grouping of birdhouses by Anya from Twitter. Hey Anya, how you doing? Thank you for sending me these. She had a little uh, birdhouse painting party, which I would totally recommend, with some of her friends. Um, with her friends Chicken Parmigiana and question mark exclamation point. Great names. So her and her friends made these adorable birdhouses. And you know, our birdhouses aren't the, aren't the same, but we'll make it work. I'm like really drawn to this one in the middle. I think it's really cute. This like blue one with the dots. I don't know who this is. Who is this? Is this Chicken Parmigiana or question mark exclamation points birdhouse, the blue one. Anya, I have to know. It appears that they didn't paint the body of the birdhouse a solid color. They left it like its natural wood color and just put red dots on it. So that's what we're gonna do. I got some new brushes from the dollar store. So we're gonna paint the top blue. Oh, I don't know. Does she paint the underside? Oh, I can't tell. I'm just gonna have to wing it. <laughs> Get it? It's the birdhouse and birds have wings. <laughs> And now I'm gonna get to work on those red dots while I let the second layer of my roof dry. It looks like she painted the little peg white too. So we'll do that now. We'll just do that now. Watch out, Emma Chamberlain. Uh. You know, it is what it is. The thing about dots is like, you mess up one, the whole thing just doesn't ever look right. That's pretty cute. Boom. Dots. Birdhouse is almost dry. It's just this top little section here. So I'm just going to puff the excess so I can speed up the process. Starting on the left side, it's the bottom is white and the right side is white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, well, I'm not good at math, so. I'm holding my breath while I'm doing these dots, and that's not healthy. Hey, that looks so much better. I'm proud of myself. I think that's it. She has some white dots on the edge, but I don't have a scalloped edge like she does, so I'm done. So here's my birdhouse, and I'll put Anya's right here, Anya's friend, or I don't know, it was sent to me by Anya. and her friends for painting these birdhouses and sending them to me on Twitter on the next birdhouse. So this birdhouse was sent to me by Miranda Rose on Twitter and she had a birdhouse painting night with her friends Haley and Victoria. I believe that this birdhouse is Miranda's and it's this really pretty like double gradient with her zodiac sign and so I'm gonna recreate that but with my zodiac sign. So the top of her birdhouse has a blue to green gradient taking the blue pick up my green what the heck is this green this green didn't do anything this angle brush put blue on one half of it and green on the other half of it and run this right over that edge there's the gradient I'm like in love with these little angled brushes they make my life so much easier <sighs> <There. coughs> whoa Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Wow, this water is so pretty. 
If that was like a Gatorade color, I would totally drink that. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Miranda, props to you for getting this like blue-green blend, because this is hard. There. It, ooh. These tiny brushes are so handy. Not gonna lie, I kinda wanna marry these little brushes. My little timer thing is dicking, dicking? Ticking, oh my gosh. I wanted to say dinging, but it wasn't dinging. So I tried to say ticking, and I said dicking. Do the top white and the bottom black, but I'm gonna leave like a, a, a gap for gray. You see that? Do you see that little like tap of white that I did on my nice roof gradient? Ah, that wasn't supposed to happen. Gosh clean my brush and there goes my beautiful looking water it is now sad and murky and I'm hoping this is gonna work and now I'm gonna do what I did for the roof with a smaller angled brush I'm gonna dip half into white and half into gray and I'm gonna do this and hope that that gives me a nice blend and it kind of worked seriously Miranda this is your fault. You wanted to do the black and white gradient, which is like the hardest gradient in the world. So now I have to live up to that. So you know what, Miranda, this is your fault. And now I'm gonna give it one more coat of just white at the top where it's very um, splotchy. Boom, now I just gotta do that three more times. So Miranda did the zodiac sign Capricorn, but I'm not gonna do that because I am not a Capricorn. I'm a Taurus. Now comes the hard part of getting a circle. That's one ugly circle. Oh no. Now I just have to do the same thing on the other side and make them symmetrical. Ta-da! Thank you to Miranda, Haley, and Victoria for sending me these birdhouses. They're so cute. I love them so much. I hope um, you like mine. I don't know what clip is going to play after this, but it's most likely going to be my outro. So, Miranda and her friends had a birdhouse painting night, and Anya and her friends had a birdhouse painting night, and I absolutely love that. Get your friends together this, this summer, this week before school starts, or if school has already started this weekend. Gather your friends that you haven't seen in a handful of time and paint a birdhouse. Now these weren't the only birdhouses that I was ever sent. These are just two of them. So I'd like to acknowledge those other ones. So here are a few honorable mentions. Nami from Twitter sent me this beautiful like orange yellow sunset cascading rooftop birdhouse that I think is so freaking gorgeous. It's such a beautiful like color scheme that I absolutely adore and I wish I had come up with it first. I don't think you ever sent me the finished product, Nami, so I would love to see it. Zoe also sent me this birdhouse, which isn't like one of these tiny birdhouses that you can get at like a craft store. This is like a legit birdhouse, like meant for like big birds. So she has like a multicolor gradient roof. I love the pink and purple side. I think that's so pretty. Also, it matches your wall. And stick this outside in a tree for some birds because they will love this. And if they don't move in, I'll move in. I was also tagged in this absolutely amazing birdhouse roof on Instagram from April Citrus. Like, it's this awesome wave that I am obsessed with. And like, I wish I had the ability to do that because that is so awesome. Like, how? How? And you said that you painted it because it looked fun. And that's because it is fun. But how did you get your colors to just like move like that? This one blows me away. It also looks like you didn't finish the body. So I don't know what the actual finished product looks like. So April Citrus, if you did finish it, I would love to see it. Maya Duck 123 on Instagram sent me this like rainbow birdhouse. But I love this like rainbow gradient thing you got going on here. I think it's so pretty. You said, okay, Shister tried. Shister did not finish like Lissa Ray would have. But I, Shister, solved it. You did not fail. It does not look terrible. I think this is actually beautiful. Shister needs to put that online so Shister Lissa can buy it. And these next birdhouses are, are they're, they're by far 
one of my favorites. I didn't recreate it because I was intimidated. Olivia Casola, girl, you got skill. Like, you are gonna send me on a run for my money. You said that this was inspired by James Charles's makeup looks, and like, I can absolutely 100% see it. Like, I love these. And you sent me such an aesthetically pleasing photo. I just think that I, these are absolutely gorgeous. I, I am shook. If you sent me a birdhouse and it wasn't featured in this video, I'm sorry. I genuinely am. You might have put it on your story and tagged me in it and therefore it expired and it was not available for screenshot, but I did see it. I can guarantee that. So if you feel inspired in any way, shape, or form to paint a birdhouse, go for it. Tweet it to me. Tag me in a photo. I may or may not be doing this again in the future, so your birdhouse might get featured. Who knows? I don't. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it took me so long to get it out, but I'm working on it. I'm sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was such a blast to film. Thank you again to everybody who sent me a picture of their birdhouse. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for everything. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for your support. I've got a bunch of cool stuff happening behind the scenes, and they will be broadcast soon. So stay tuned. I will see you guys in my next video. Uh, bye! Now we're gonna take Gray and hope that this... Ah! Ooh, priority. Grace and Dolan just posted a photo. I'm coming. Wow, that is such a mood. A road trip to... <laughs> I love that. I was supposed to go on a road trip to Vegas with my friends. Guys. <laughs>